Hi guys, welcome. I am gonna make for you what I typically make Monday through Friday for work, my go-to work uh, salad. I make it in the morning. Uh, I usually pair it with a uh, canned fish or chicken that I will make in the same morning. Today, I'm gonna pair it with Porto's smoked salmon. Okay, this is a wonderful product and what's great about it, it's shelf stable, it's canned fish. So you don't need to refrigerate it. And Another thing that's great about this smoked salmon versus let's say smoked salmon you buy at the grocery store in the, uh, in the um, refrigerated section is the bus buy date is all the way back to September, 2027. I know when I buy smoked salmon at the grocery store, it's probably gonna last up to a month in the fridge and then you know I have to eat it before that, otherwise I'm gonna have to throw it out. So this is a wonderful product. You can essentially take it anywhere. You don't need refrigeration. So let's get into it. I'm a slave to consistency. I, I eat salad every day. Now this lettuce is looking a little, uh, little, you know, gross on the outside. So I'm gonna clean it up, pull off those leaves. They're pretty nasty. This is a, this has been in my fridge for a little while. All right, so we're gonna rinse that off. Okay, rinse that off really good in the sink. Move this over. I have a lot of ingredients besides, I mean, the star of the show is the Porto smoke, right? Let me grab my knife, my chopping knife. So the star is, of course, the Porto smoke, but I'm going to pair this up. I love uh, an aged balsamic. This is uh, uh, the Del Duca aged, and uh, I'm going to show you this in a second. And then I have this extra virgin olive oil from Sicily. Zahara, and that's a really nice pairing. I'm probably gonna go light on the olive oil because uh, the Portos is also in olive oil, and uh, I'm not gonna try to offset it with too much flavor. So we're gonna cut up this lettuce, and then I'm gonna wash it again. You know. So here we go. My dogs uh, just ran up to me. If you can hear them, uh, they love lettuce. Love anything crunchy. Chloe over there is stretching out. So I'm gonna get this there, there, okay. And let's rinse this off really quick. So lettuce is always a starter for salad for me, and I like romaine. Now you know you have like the the pre-washed, pre-cut salad that you can buy you know, at the grocery store. And um, that's, you know, I, I used to actually like that a lot, but what I found, you know, when you buy those like plastic giant containers of it, that, I don't know, it usually would last I don't know, like three days and then start looking pretty like, just, you know, pretty, uh, you know, on the edge of like, mm, I don't really want to eat this, you know? And, and so, you know, I don't like to waste food, but I also, you know, eating algae or slimy, you know, mildewy lettuce isn't good. What I really like is like the romaine um, parts because, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's fresh, right? So we're gonna pop that out. I'm gonna rinse this out. I don't need this anymore. So we're gonna rinse this and move on to the next ingredient. So my dogs are right behind me right now, and uh, maybe I'll show you them at the end of the show because they're hanging out. I actually um, pulled out some apples for them because I know with all this chopping, they're gonna go nuts, and they love uh, some crunchy apples. So this is a cucumber I used uh, yesterday to make my salad, so I usually like to uh, chop off the end, okay? And then there goes my dog crying, and we're gonna chop this. I have to cut enough for the dogs, right? So here's the uh, the cucumber, okay? So I start out with that. I need to make some thinner pieces. They're little chihuahuas. Maybe a little too much for them. I'm gonna cut so they can have have two dogs here. And they can have four each, and that's a little bit for them. Okay. Here you go, guys. Okay, so that's one for them. And then I just chop this raw. All right, so put that in the salad. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so we're we're at this point here with some cucumber and some lettuce, and the dogs have theirs. I'm gonna looks like I have two, three, four. All right, so that's for the dogs. I'm done with the cucumber. Okay, so what is next up? I like a little hearts of palm and artichoke hearts. So I can't eat a whole can, so I have these awesome containers that allow me to then you know have it on every salad going forward. Right? Um, before I get there, I'm gonna cut some apples for my dogs. All right, so we're gonna put your nuts to the apple. All right, so there you go, guys. Okay, all right, so that's for them too. All right, so we're gonna get back to the show now. So, otherwise, we're gonna hear a lot of dogs crying. You know, Chihuahuas, uh, they have a lot of heart, right? So let's see here. Let's drain this a little bit and then uh, dump that. Now, I usually actually like the whole artichoke part. I don't like when they're like cut into quarters, but that's all the store had and it's almost exactly the same. So can't wait to open that fourth dose, honestly. So I'm going to put one. Two, three, I guess this was for my dog, but okay. Four, five, all right. And then put the rest in the container for Tuesday, for Monday, tomorrow, Monday. So that's going in the fridge, okay. And my favorite, I, I mean, I don't really have a brand. I, I just like straight up parts of palm. Um, I don't think they're sustainable though, honestly. Like, I think the way they get these is pretty bad, but I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I've read some things about it, but you know, I'm not quite sure, honestly. But here we go. I do recycle. <laughs> All right, so I usually do one uh, in the cell, but I'm going to cut these up a little bit to fit in the container, okay? And I'm just going to do one in the salad. Put these away for Tuesday, and um, I'm gonna chop this up. All right. I'm gonna show you the balsamic on this plate because it is pretty amazing to see how thick it is for being aged, you know, um, three months. I met uh, the uh, the company at a food show, like a, the granddaughter of the company. You know, it's a family-run business. And uh, wow, the history of that company, but the quality of the product is just phenomenal. Let me give the dogs, you being a good dogs, here we go, Chloe. Okay, so here we are. We're at the stage that we have the, um, you know, we have the four ingredients, right? So that's pretty good. Now maybe I want a little of these uh, <laughs> Castel Vitrano green olives. They're pitted, thankfully. Uh, once I bought one that was not pitted and that was a disaster, right? So it's not good for salad. So I'm going to drain these. I'm going to do like five, maybe six. Can never not have no olives in that, right? So that's in there. And I don't know if you like fruit in your salad. When I was a kid, uh, I was not a huge fan of fruit in my salad. So, but. I am a huge fan of it now. So this is the end of it. I have more in the, uh, the fridge. So I'm gonna go light on a blueberry today because the salad's looking big already. All right, so that's looking really, really nice. Wow, okay, already. And now strawberries. So I saw on the internet, I don't know if it's true, but if you put your strawberries in a glass container, they last a lot longer than if you keep them in the carton. So I started doing that. I guess they're not like really getting moldy. I've have had these for a little on the long side. Uh, they smell really good. Wow, they still smell great. So we're gonna wash these. Always wash your, uh, they are probably, for some of you, probably not washing this stuff long enough, right? Or with, um, some people get crazy with, you know, washing, their vegetables with like different sprays and stuff. I'm not saying it's crazy, it's just way more than what I do, right? So probably 
I'm having a lot of pesticides right now, or soon, right, in all my salads. But I think that's, uh, you know, unfortunate. All right, so let's see here. Cutting these strawberries up. Here goes my dogs. So, I don't know, I kind of combine the fruit for the vitamins and, you know, it does taste good. It's real fresh. I don't know, maybe I should cut these smaller, but I'm not going to do that. So here we go. That's uh, looking really, really, it smells great. It smells fresh, you know? All right, so what do I have left here? I don't really have much, so now we're just going to get into cracking some, oh shoot, some pepper. I just filled this, so a lot, too much pepper just came out. A little salt. A little garlic, okay? And let me show you this balsamic really quick, all right, before we add it. So check this out. Let's see how thick this is. Wow. So that is uh, that is pretty thick. And it's delicious. I'm only going to, since I'm going to use that plate for the salad, I'm only going to put a little bit on this, okay? Yeah, all right. And uh, a little... I, I'm a little hesitant to put the olive oil on it because of the salmon's gonna have like some olive oil, but let me put some on there. Okay. This is looking great. So here we are. That salad is so good looking, right? Like, what do you think? Is that something you wanna have? So we're gonna have that, and uh, I'm gonna plate it on, um, on, this, on this beautiful plate here. Let's see, maybe I should mix it up a little bit. Yeah, it's good to mix it because it's pretty, that pepper really came out of the grinder without even me grinding it because I, I you know, as you should do when you fill a pepper grinder with the, the little peppercorns, make sure when you open it that you don't put it on a, a plate right away because you're gonna have way too much pepper come out. Like, like all the powder that was in the jar. So I'm going to plate this now. All right, so here we go. Okay. And so I'm going to pick up a lot of that balsamic. I don't want to waste that balsamic, eating it out of, out of the bowl. All right. That is a monster salad. All right. You know, wonderful salad. I have some more here, okay? But... I know it doesn't look necessarily as pretty as you would want, but that is something there, right? Now, I am almost done here. We're gonna open up the port though. Okay. But I got a giant mess here, right? So, rinse this stuff off. Got a size mess here. Let me give this to the dog, and then we'll open up the port house. Let me clean this off, okay? So, this is for the dogs. For later, for after the show, it would be good. Okay, and um, let me just clean off the surface. This is a mess, man. It is a mess there. So that's at least white, not necessarily clean. A little spray. Okay, and one of these chamois things. Okay, we're kind of clean here. Not 100%, but now it's time. You saw the salad, which doesn't look that beautiful, but it's actually super tasty. It looked better in the bowl, All right? I think, okay. And now we're gonna open up the port house smoked. Okay, I'm gonna plate that. Let's see here. So we're gonna, it's like it will fit on this plate. So we're gonna plate it in this. We're gonna give a apple to the doggies. All right, and let's open this up. All right, so port house put this in a really nice box. And uh, really impressive. And their entire smoke line is in different color boxes. It's like 
almost like playing cards. It feels like you're opening up some, you can play poker or something. And it's in one of these thinner cans, okay? So we're gonna open this up, okay? So you've got box. All right, here we go. Wow, that is really nice. Nice uh, chunks of Portos. And uh, wow, wowie wowie. All right, so here we go. Oh yeah. Smells good. Does look a little on the hard side, the salmon, but really nice salmon steaks essentially. And then you have this, this darker olive oil, which I made about some. Let me give it a try. Let's see. That is pretty good. So it's a little firm. Salmon, tastes like salmon. A little salty, a little bit, not that much. Just a tiny bit. Smoke though, definitely a smoky flavor. Doesn't smell bad, doesn't smell fishy. Has a fish smell, but not bad fishy. So this is really good. Well, yeah, the Porto smoked salmon is gonna go excellent with the salad. Um, the base flavor is, uh, it should offset some of that acidic balsamic vinegar that I had. Although because it's aged in barrels for three months, it's a little bit on the sweet side. So it's gonna be nice. Can't wait to try it. Thanks for joining me. There is a link in the description on where you can find this. And I will see you guys next time. Apple, here you go, Harry. Here you go, Chloe. Good girl, good boy. Yummy, yummy. Delicious, right guys? Chloe, what do you think? I think I have cucumbers, all right? So we got a cucumber, here we go. Here we go. Sit. Harry, here you go. Chloe, Ay, yummy cucumbers, right? Good boy, Harry. Good girl, Chloe. All right, that's it guys, say goodbye. See you next time, see you next time.